If you like Champions League soccer, this is the place for you. What's up, everybody? I am the coach. You know what show this is. This is The Early Edge. This is a very special episode of The Early Edge, a Kicking It With Tom Champions League only episode of The Early Edge powered by Sportsline. Now, if you love the Champions League, every single match you're going to be able to see on CBS All Access. But don't fret. March 4th, that's going to be rebranded to Paramount+. Plus. But it's the same subscription so you don't even need to worry about it. But let's get into the games we're talking about for this week. And you know our man, Tom. Take the bass out of your voice. Fornelli is here. Tommy, I mean, your own show now? Your own your own brand? What's going on? <laughs> yes, the early edge is mine now. Yeah. How are you, Coach? <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good. We are excited for Champions League, and we've been waiting for you. And this week, there's several good games. Are you ready? No, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. And Dar says 10 minutes or less, always here on the early edge. All right, first game on the board, Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, Leipzig versus Liverpool. What do you like in this matchup? Yeah, you know, of the four matches this week, this is probably the one I like the least as far as a betting angle because Liverpool has been an absolute mess for a couple months now. They've been dealing with injuries all season long, and they're, they're coming into this having lost three in a row. But they've been so bad that I think there might be more value on them now than you'd probably typically find. It's just defensively, they've been so, so problematic that I, I can't really – warrant betting on them at any price so if i'm taking anything in this match what i like is both teams to score at minus 180 because liverpool has allowed at least one goal in nine of its last 10 matches and in attack they still have sadio mane they still have mm -hmm. Mo Salah, they still have roberto firmino so they're probably going to get a goal of their own so i like both teams to score but again of the four matches this week this is the one i like the least so this is more of a lean than a play this now, it should be noted that this is being held at a neutral venue due to COVID restrictions. Yes. However, Liverpool will get to host their home meeting against Leipzig. Uh, so keep that in mind because I think that matters at least a little bit in, in how you handicap. All right, second game on the board, also 2 p.m. or excuse me, Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern. You can watch it on CBS Sports Network. Barcelona, PSG, no Neymar, baby. What do you like? Yeah, I think I think Neymar being absent is what is providing us with the value because so much of the focus has been on the fact that Neymar, who has a you know, pulled a ductor, will not be playing in this match for PSG. And that is putting a lot of value on PSG because it's kind of caused us all to ignore the fact that the Barcelona team that Paris is going to be playing this week hasn't been very good this year. If we look at Barcelona in its four matches this season against the other three Spanish league teams that are currently still in the Champions League, Barcelona is 0-3 and 1 with one draw in those four matches. They were outscored 7 to 2. Barcelona this year has been a bum slayer. And PSG is not a bum even without Neymar. They still have Kylian Mbappe. They still have Angel de Maria. They still have Moro Icardi and Moise Keane, who's taken a huge step forward for them in attack. At plus 240, there is a ton of of value on PSG in this spot. So I'm going to be all over them. I'm taking them to win straight up. I think that they could do it more than more than we need them to to be, make this a profitable play. I love that word ton of value right here on PSG plus 240. Quickly before we get to our next two games, I want to tell you this. The Champions League, oh it's back. And if you're a soccer fan, listen to this. You should be listening to Kay Colasso, part of the CBS Sports Podcast Network. Now join the team for two episodes per day including daily previews and recaps of all the Champions League and Europa knockout stage action. You can find Q Colasso on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and wherever else you listen to your podcast, download and subscribe right now. All right, back to your board, Mr. Fornelli. Sevilla and Dortmund, Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Sevilla won last year's Europa League. What do you see in this one? Yeah, you know, sometimes when it comes to breaking down matches like this, I'm, I'm looking at numbers, I'm looking at all this stuff, I'm looking at matchups, I'm looking at injuries. This one's pretty simple. This one is just looking at how these two teams have been playing coming into this match. Sevilla, red hot. They've won nine straight, and they've only lost once. Since the group stage ended from the very first part of Champions League a couple months ago, they've played 19 matches. They've drawn twice. 
they've lost one, and they've straight up won the other 16. And since then, they've added a player in Papu Gomez, who they got from Atalanta in Italy, who is a tremendous player who will only make them better in attack and more dangerous. And they're facing a Dortmund team who not too long ago fired its manager, has had a interim coach in his place who has looked, you know, they, they, they've looked lost under him, to be frank. The, like the mm-hmm. team that doesn't really know what it wants to be doing or who it is. And for a team with that much talent, it's strange to see. And they've also hired their new manager, which was announced earlier this week, who will take over after the season's over. So I feel like that's kind of a weird situation to be yeah. if you're a player on the team. Like, <laughs> yeah. what do I care about my coach right now? I already know he's gone in a few months. Who cares what he thinks? <laughs> so just looking at how these two teams are playing right now, I love Sevilla. I love the value on him here. I think they are the better team. They've been the better team this season, and I think they're going to be the better team this week when they play. Those are great nuggets. All right, our final game on the board. Our fourth game looks like this in the round of 16. Porto against Juventus. Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Juventus to keep a clean sheet, plus 129. Uh, But then what do you like in addition to that? Yeah, I love them to keep the clean sheet because they have kept a clean sheet in six of the last eight matches, and defensively, they've been terrific. But I think my favorite play in this is just, you know, let's using our brains here. Cristiano Ronaldo to score a goal, plus 105. This is Ronaldo. Ronaldo (laughs) loves the big stage. He loves the bright lights, and there is no bigger stage and brighter lights than there are in the Champions League. This is a guy who has started 169 Champions League matches in his career and has scored 134 goals in 169 matches, including four goals in the last three matches Juventus played in the group stage. He is their offense. Their attack goes through him. This is a big spot. This is a team that I think that Juventus can overload and overpower. I think Cristiano is going to get at least one goal this week. I love that. And like I said, I also love them to keep the shutout, to keep the clean sheet because defensively this team, that's really been the difference between Juventus early in the group stage and the Juventus we're seeing now is defensively they have figured things out. They've become really solid in that aspect. I love star power, man. I love when you can incorporate star power in your picks, too, because that really makes people want to watch the game and enjoy the game. All right, it's that time. Grab your paper. Grab your pencil. Let's do a full recap. Here's what Tommy likes. He likes both teams to score in the Leipzig-Liverpool match. It's coming back at minus 180 in the Barcelona PSG. He said tons of value, plus 240 on PSG. No Neymar, however. Sevilla, Dortmund, Sevilla plus 140. You heard all the reasons. And then Porto, Juventus, two bets here. Juventus to keep a clean sheet. That's coming in at plus 129. And then Ronaldo to score a goal. It's almost automatic in these big uh, spots, plus 105. You got your marching orders. Let's take every single ticket for Mr. Tommy Fornelli straight to the pay window. For Tommy, take the bass out of your voice for Nelly, the jeweler, our producer, and all you wonderful people that are growing the Early Edge brand. Remember, this is the only place for your Champions League. Enjoy the week on CBS All Access, Early Edge. Good luck.